And the first thing on the agenda is public comments. Do we have any public comment at this time? Any member of the public? Okay, not hearing anybody, we'll move on to the next item, which is approval of the meeting minutes um, from our 222 meeting. Uh, hopefully everybody had a chance to review the minutes real fast. Uh, do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Thank you, Chris. Second, Julie. Second, Julie. Josh, if you can do a roll call, please. Hey. Aye. Susie. Aye. Julie. Aye. Leah. I wasn't at that last meeting, so I think I have to abstain. Yep. Chris? Yes. Thank you. The motion was approved. Okay, great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here this evening. Um, I, I do have a bit of a time limit myself this evening with a hockey practice coming up at 8, uh, but I think we should be able to get our business done. Uh, so the only thing really on the agenda for new business is the surge intermunicipal agreement reauthorization and amendment FY21-005. Tony, uh, what can you tell us? It is an annual <clears throat> agreement uh, that we have with this group uh, that is really basically, a, it's a buying group. Um, and it represents all the uh, towns that are listed in paragraph one. Um, mainly what we uh, use them is to buy in bulk and or negotiate on behalf of these communities. And we're able to, I'm pulling it up right now. We're able to um, really uh, be, be very competitive uh, in our in our uh, our costs here by 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 buying in bulk in this group. It's for DPW services, for DPW supplies, water, sewer, chemicals, and uh, and and really paper. Those are those are the areas. Um, it can range from uh, what we would pay for yard of loom to uh salt to sand um to ship seal um and um and it's fundamentally for the the highway sewer and water operation so you're just approving that the cost is roughly four thousand dollars and that you prove that we uh enter into this agreement um, it's interesting. It's it's a resolution uh, versus an order, so I'm not sure the distinction there. But because it uh, pertains to finances and money, I believe it's presented to the council and to the finance committee for their approval. Now, Tony, is it always the same items, or is the list flexible that they'll buy as a group or as needed, or? I, they basically look at who uses what and they come up with their list. Um, it has 90, there's eight pages, uh, 14, 28, 39. There's over a hundred, well over 130 items. Um, so I think it's whatever's needed in this type of commodity and this type of, for these types of operations, that's the, that's the essence of why this buying group was formed. Uh, hydrated lime, uh, sodium bisulfate, um, you know, chemicals for your, your water and sewer operations. Uh, so it's, it's, it's not broader than that. That's the extent that these, this group um, purchases. But like I said, it's well over 100 and 140, 150 items that relate to that. Yeah, thank you. You said it was annual, Tony? Yeah, it, um, they go out to bid every year. It's an annual cost. They're, they really like our procurement officer for all of our DPW uh, 
So when we go to a chapter 90 job, we use this bid list and we find the individual that's going to come up and do also the work out there. So it's, it's services and supplies. It, just, right. it allows us not to have to go out and do separate bids for all different projects. Okay, thank you. That, that actually helped clarify it for me, Tony. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any questions for, for Tony? On the yeah. subject? I'm good. All right. Seems to be pretty straightforward and seems to be about saving money, which we all like. I see Eric just joined us. I don't know if he has any comments. Eric, we were just talking about uh, the surge in front of us here, the intermunicipal uh, agreement. Sorry, Nate. I, I was waiting in some virtual waiting room. So <laughs> thanks for letting me in. Uh, I, I, know, I know you know what this is. I don't know if you have any questions for Tony. No, I don't have any right now, Tony. Thank you. All right. All right. Do we have a, a motion on this resolution? Motion to approve resolution RFY 2105. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Second, Eric. Second from Eric. Thank you. Josh, if you could do a roll call for us. Yep. Nate. Aye. Susie. Aye. Julie. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Chris. Yes. Eric. Aye. Thank you so much, Mr. Bruce. Okay, thank you, everyone. All right, so that was our official business for the evening. Uh, we do have, obviously, our additional committee discussion. Uh, one thing that I just wanted to bring up real quick, uh, Tony, with you here too, uh, looking at our calendar, uh, I know that we're going to have another joint meeting with the Budget Finance Committee for the Town Council. And I'm just looking to what the best time to do that. Would that be between the uh, 18th and the 1st, Tony? One second, I got to pull up the calendar, if you don't mind. Okay. I'm in front of me. Yeah, so that that will typically happen, and that's why I put TBD. So it looks like we should be on schedule for the town manager submitting uh, at at the April sixth meeting uh, a balanced budget, which then will get referred. Um, and then the question I would put to you, uh, Mr. Chairman, is. If you could reach, if I suggest, really it's a suggestion that you reach out to Mr. Gallagher yep. and kind of look at with that in mind that it will be referred out on the sixth, how you'd like to proceed. That's why I put a TBD. Um, the, the work would need to be completed by the end of April and submitted with recommendations by both groups um, for a hearing and a vote on May 11. So that's on that calendar. So that, that whole thing will all line up dependent upon the work that you folks feel you need to do, whether it's one meeting, two meetings, three me meetings. So that will all be de determined after the sixth and it's referred to those groups. Okay, great. Thank you, Tony. I will. I'll reach out to uh, Mr. Gallagher and okay. uh, start coordinating those. Thank you. Um, now, one other, we did get um, some documents from you, Tony, uh, the unfunded capital. Was that what it was? I honestly haven't had that much time to uh, go yeah. through it yet, but. So what I just gave was a list of the fund balances for all the funds and it, 
and I, I forwarded that um, to you guys and it should list all the, uh, the fund types and the fund numbers that exist in our financial system. And what you folks were gonna do is take a look at it and come up with a list of what funds you might want further explanation on or some additional information on. Um, and that's where uh, I left it last meeting that I would get this document to you so you could review it. Okay. So I, wasn't, I, I wasn't looking for anything this evening on this evening. it. Okay. All right, does anybody have a quick question for Tony? Not at this time. At this point? I know I saw a lot of red numbers on there, so. The red is good, black is, <laughs> is it's the opposite. It's a credit balance, okay. it's a fund balance. That's a good thing. Okay, great. All right, so thank you. So if the members of the committee will take a time uh, in the future here to review that, and if you do have any questions or anything you'd like to look at more, uh, please get in touch with me. Great, and you'll give me a listing or some information so I can have advance uh, notice. You got it. No Thank problem. you. All right, uh, committee members, is there anything else uh, that you would like to discuss this evening? Um, under Anything under the additional committee discussion? Is there anything anybody would like to bring up? I, I had my really minor suggestion of, of if Josh could send out a meeting invite via calendar um, for this group. I wasn't sure if anybody else had a preference about that either. Great idea. <laughs> so I, I think because you know Josh did bring up a good point that not, not everybody may want to receive it that way. So why don't I do this? I'll send out an email to the committee and I'll ask who would Josh, you can send it both ways, correct? Yeah, I, I'll still send a formal email. That's not a problem. Um, but if, if People want to also get a calendar anyway. I just didn't want to send it to because I noticed some people use their work email. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to add to their work calendar because that's how my work email works. Okay. And, and that makes sense. So why don't I do that? I'm going to reach out to the committee um, and I'll ask who would also like to get it in that form. Um, and then whoever wants it that way, uh, Josh will get it out to you in that in the calendar format too. But I think it's a great idea, Susie. Thank you. All right. I, I have a question that I don't know, Tony, if you have an answer or if it's the appropriate, if I can even ask it. But um, when we discussed this school committee budget last week and uh, our last meeting, we had that 2.8 and you provided the dollar amount. Do you mm -hmm. know Do you know how things stand on the Raynham side or you can't, is, I don't know. We well, don't know. What, what I can do is speak to the, um, the number that we are now working with. We've had a, a number of really great meetings with uh, the, the school department, Kathy and Derek, and we've really been able to um, communicate uh, around both capital needs and operational needs. So at this point in time, the, the number that the town manager and I are, are comfortable with and the school has been very receptive and they have it on, their, on a worksheet. They'll be going over this, I think this budget at an upcoming meeting, is it the 10th or the 12th? I'm not, not sure of the day. Um, there's I'm guessing something. Wednesday the 10th at the, the school. Okay, it's the 10th. Right. That's their public, public hearing? Yeah. Okay. Right. So the increase that we had in our conversation was $972,630. All right. We also are, are, are committing at this time to at least 275,867. The order will have to come through separate. We're gonna do that over the next three or four weeks for capital for both the general fund and the school. But there's 275,867 that they're looking for. And we, we hope to find a few more things uh, above and beyond that. Um, and the town manager asked that I communicate that and, and pass on the thanks for the school and, and the work that they've been doing and communicating with us. We have a full capital plan from them. It's gonna be inside of our capital plan. So we know what the town's uh, obligations will be going forward. So it's really been a very productive few weeks. Great to hear. Thank you. You're welcome.
All right. Do we have anything else for Mr. Somante? Um, I I I don't at this time. Um, just um, looking forward to us moving ahead with the budget and the capital uh, planning process. Um, our capital plan, we, we are shooting for not this Friday, but the following Friday to have the whole capital improvement program. And that is just a list of everything that we see as the needs for the town and the, and the school district. Uh, and then we will be following up with a, um, an order for an appropriation for those that we need to fund um, before the end of this fiscal year for both the town and the school. Um, we also have uh, in our mind's eye, and we'll put this to calendar as well shortly, is every fall after the free cash is certified and we make our distribution to our capital stabilization fund, we'll be coming back with a fall order uh, to handle our capital appropriations. And then we will roll into the next budget season with a new capital improvement program. So it's taken a long time, but I think we're going to be on that 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 cycle. Uh, the school was, again was very very happy to hear that that's how we're going to proceed, and they look for, they look forward to it. Okay, thank you. Uh, any committee, any committee members have anything they like to bring up? Okay, so I think our next regular meeting would be on Monday, April twenty second. Uh, if we have any business that will come before us. Uh, does anybody have a problem with that date at this point? You Go said a May. You said a uh, April. Oh, I'm sorry, March 22nd. Yep, no problem. Thank you. And no, I have no problem with March 22nd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, date Fails? okay here. All right, good. Thank you. So, Josh, we'll plan on the 22nd, March 22nd, 6:30 p.m. Okay. Um. Looks like we have a fairly quick one this evening, which I'm sure everybody's fine with. Get our time back here a little bit. Uh, does, if we have anything else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Second. Second, Susie. Josh, if you can do a roll call for me, please. Nate. Aye. Susie. Aye. Julie. Aye. Leah. Aye. Chris. Yes. Eric. Aye. Thank you. The motion is approved. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. And thank you, guys. Thank Bye. you.